Yo, young world, what's going on? It's your boy, Young City Extraordinaire. I'm back, I'm back. I'm back again. You know, I'm making another video for you. Um, I know I promised my boy that I was going to make a video. I was going to make more videos, but I haven't had time. You know, I've been kind of busy with um, school and work and all the things that life entails. So, yeah, I haven't made a, haven't made a video in a while. Um, another thing I wanted to, wanted to try to make a video that said something. You know, I'm tired of just making party videos. Um, you know, I'm getting ready to go to this party, my that party, I'm on a taxi, in a taxi, getting ready to go to some party, I'm going drinking with my friends or whatever, and each Um, yeah, I wanted to make a video that said something, so, here I am, I'm trying to make that video, but, as you can see, I'm, well, maybe you can't see, oh, maybe you can't see, I'm, I am getting cute, because I am finna go to a party, um, finna go to Kajido and each Um, it's the only hip-hop party. Um, but one of the only hip hop parties in each home, so I'm finna go to that, have some fun with my friends, um, have a few drinks, you know, get my life a little bit, get my life a little bit, um, yeah, but this video is more than that, you know, um, I was watching the other day, um, watching the news, I was trying to find some things to put in my blog, if you haven't checked out my blog, by the way, it's, um, it's a fabulous blog, you have to get into it, get into it, honey, get into it, um, that was so gay. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Um, yeah, my mom might be watching, so I'm gonna try to keep this clean. Hey, happy Mother's Day. Um, yeah, all right. So I was watching the news the other day, trying to find something for my blog, which is um www.cityunderredsun.com. Check it out. Um, yeah, and I saw that they were getting gay marriages. They approved gay marriages in the state of Maine. This is after they approved gay marriages in Iowa. I mean, Iowa, who knew it was so progressive? Iowa, I mean, it's so close to Oklahoma. I mean, Oklahoma, what are y'all waiting on? Come on, Iowa. So, yeah, Iowa and Maine, and then I saw after that, the um, D.C. City Council, the District Council, approved gay marriages. There was, well, a gay marriage bill. I think it just, it just recognizes gay marriages performed elsewhere, and I think that's a huge step. Um, one of the things that struck me, though, was that Marion Barry, the former mayor of D.C., who's actually, his title, his unofficial title is Mayor for Life, because everyone loves him, apparently so much, that he's the mayor for life. Um, he voted for the bill, and then later he said, I didn't know what I was voting for. Yeah, something like that. So, something like, um, Scooby-Doo. It sounds like Scooby-Doo. So, yeah, he says that, um... He didn't know what he was voting for when he voted for gay marriages, and that um, actually he's against gay marriage. Um, the D.C. clergy, the national clergy, is really, you know, got behind him, adopted him as their poster boy for the anti-gay marriage movement in D.C. And I just think it's really interesting that they got Marion Barry. I mean, if you remember back a couple years ago, maybe maybe 10 years ago, right roundabouts, um, the FBI called him on tape, smoking crack. In a hotel room with a prostitute. And this is the poster boy that the religious leaders of America, of D.C., have chosen to, you know, really crusade, crusade, crusade against gay marriages. I love it. You know what? It's ridiculous. It's beyond ridiculous. I think it's an insult. Really, Marion Barry against gay marriages. And people are listening. People care. Uh, I really think that he should just, you know, STFU. If you don't know what STFU means, you might want to Google it. I want to keep this clean because, like I said, my mom is watching. My mom might be watching, hopefully watching. Um, yeah, I want to keep this clean. But STFU. When to STFU on gay marriages. All right, this is for you, Mr. Marion Barry. Okay? Time number one. When to STFU on gay marriage. When you are almost silent on the near epidemic HIV and AIDS rates in D.C. I mean, there are African countries. There are countries in Africa with less HIV and AIDS than D.C. I mean, you're almost silent. I haven't heard you say anything, anything about AIDS or HIV. But here you are crusading against gay marriages. My man, gay marriages... Gay marriage is a not your issue. Alright? We need to STFU. Okay? Time number two.
two went to STFU on gay marriages, okay? When you're divorced, it's time to STFU, all right? That's bad enough. But when you're on your second, third, or oh my God, God forbid, fourth marriage, it really, really, really is time to STFU on gay marriage. I mean, give a gay man like me a shot. I mean, I'll make it work. I'll do my best to make it work. I mean, if not the first time, if I don't get it right the first time, the second time, mm, I'm going to try to get it right. The third time, you know, they say is the charm. The third time, I would get that shit right. My man, come on. Four marriages? Four marriages? <sighs> you need to STFU on gay marriage. All right? Time number three. Time number three when the STFU on gay marriage. When you've cheated. When you cheated or when you're currently cheating on your partner, my man, it is time to STFU on gay marriage. I mean, Mr. Marion Barry, I mean, the FBI caught you on tape smoking crack with a prostitute. I think you were married at the time. Really, you need to STFU on gay marriage, all right? All these Republican leaders with their mistresses, with their drugs and mistresses, I mean, these are some PNP boys for real. I mean, they need to STFU on gay marriage. And the same thing for these religious leaders. I mean, come on now. How many of them are in the closet? How many of them have their messages? Come on, STFU on gay marriage. Leave us the hell alone. All we want to do is get married, okay? Time number four, when to STFU on gay marriage, all right? Time number four, when you have, when you've experienced discrimination, in your life, if you've if you've been called a nigga, not 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 a nigga with the soft with the soft A with the hard R, when you've been called a nigger, okay, when you've been called a nigga, when somebody has hit you in the head with a brick, like 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 brother brother Lewis, when someone's hit you in the head with a brick, when someone shot at you, you know, for being black or for being Asian or for being a woman for whatever reason, when you've experienced discrimination in your life, you need to not be you know disseminating disseminating hate. You need to not be homophobic. You need to not be against someone else getting their constitutional rights. You know, you need to be behind them, fighting for them, fighting with them. You know, come on now. It is time to STFU on gay marriage and you know what, get behind the gay marriage movements. I mean, it's really all about equality. You know, 1954, the Supreme Court ruled separate but unequal, unconstitutional. You know, civil unions are just that. Separate and unequal. <sighs> STFU on gay marriage, alright? Time number five. When to STFU on gay marriages, alright? This isn't just for Mr. Marion Barry or for all the bishops and the reverends out there. This is for everybody, alright? If you're against gay marriage, if you're against gay marriage and you're not gay, it's time to STFU on gay marriage. I mean, me, I can say... I'm against gay marriages. I am. I really am. I don't want Kenji or uh, Ma Malcolm, Malik, whoever, whoever the hell I'm over here sleeping in the bed with. I don't want him waking up looking at his ring finger like, if I liked it, I should have put a ring on it. Because you know what? It is not going to happen. I'm also not trying to have some Japanese boy get married to me so I can take him back to America, to the land of the free and the home of the brave and all of that goodness. No, it's not going to happen, so I'm against gay marriage. But I can say that because, you know what, I'm gay. If you're not gay, it's time to STFU. All right? That is it. I'm all hot, sweaty, got all hot, sweaty, and bothered and everything. Anyway, I love everybody out there. You know, when you hear somebody else saying something negative about gay marriages, you know, their opinions about gay marriages, gay people need to not get married or... They can have civil unions, believe us, marriage, uh, defense of marriage, or whatever that, whatever that means. You know, tell them, tell them Mike Hell said. Tell them, your boy, Young City Extraordinaire, my name is actually Mike Hell. Tell them Mike Hell said. To STFU, okay? Love y'all there. Peace.